Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the ECMWF, the GFS ensembles and the UK Met Office run at the potential of seeing some very cold weather and potentially some late autumnal snow um, next week. It's looking pretty likely we're going to be seeing a polar air mass take over from the north with Greenland blocking around um, and with that sort of air mass around we could be seeing snow most likely over higher ground in the north but uh, you couldn't even rule it out in the south as well at times the air mass will be cold enough uh, for precipitation to fall as snow so we'll have a look at that in more detail um, now one thing I must say though is we are not quite in the shorter term sort of time frame yet so everything here still is subject to change um, once we can sort of three four days out i.e sort of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday time, that's when we'll be able to have a look at, a lot, at, it, at it in a lot more detail. So do you remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you have a look at the latest GFS, you can see it doesn't look cold at all, really. Um, it does look pretty mild with flat westerly winds. We do have a few showers further northwards, but generally most areas are dry, a bit of trap cloud around and drizzle, but nothing too major. As we move it on, you see the high pressure starts to move towards Greenland towards Saturday into Sunday. And we see our first sort of entrance of colder air. It does move through down the east coast. Most areas getting in the minus five air mass, which is sort of the threshold for seeing snow. However, we are under high pressure, so there's not going to be too many wintry showers. Maybe a few over Scotland, over the Scottish mountains, but that's not too abnormal for this time of year however elsewhere still going to be pretty chilly temperatures in the mid uh, single digits maybe six seven degrees in a few areas in the south and overnight we're going to be dropping down to around freezing if not lower than that so it does look like there will be some frosts coming through sunday and monday now beyond that that high pressure does initially collapse however we see a reinforcement from another ridge of high pressure simply because the jet stream is amplifying quite massively up towards greenland Saw a video yesterday from the Met Office uh, on their 10-day trend where they very much explained this um, really quite well uh, in terms of the jet stream amplifying, allowing this high pressure to build. So if you want an in-depth reason why we're seeing this big application, do go check out their explainer video of why we are seeing this Greenland block develop. Um, and I'll link that in the top right. So you can see at the moment that block is heading towards Greenland because of that amplified jet stream. And we do start to see cold northerly winds. Now, initially, by sort of Wednesday, Thursday, we're pulling, starting to pull in a cold air mass, but it doesn't come in very, very quickly. We do initially pull in um, some chillier air, and then we see a bit of a milder sector ahead of the main low dropping down through Friday. Now, this is the latest GFS, so as we'll see with the EGM and the ECWF, it will probably play out slightly different on those runs. So, as I said, there still is a bit of uncertainty exactly how these things um, go out. But the general pattern of green on blocking, low pressure coming in from the north, it is pretty much uh, locked in at this stage. You can see a bit of a milder sector move through. A bit unknown at this stage whether it's mild enough to turn everything to snow, uh, everything to rain, sorry before as we head back into the colder air mass things will turn back to snow but you can see colder air floods through and we go into really quite cold northerly airflow really quite chilly and very interesting seeing this a channel low um, or at least a low pressure system moving through the southern half of the country now this is beyond day 10 and we are looking at six head which hasn't fully come out yet um, but just beyond day 10 so day 11 day 12 so a week on tuesday gfs putting out a very very interesting chart showing it a small little channel feature um, where low pressure is running through to the channel or southern england and on the northern and eastern edge of this we would be expecting some quite heavy snowfall and with this very cold air mass um it will definitely be falling as snow if you have a look at the dew points well below freezing the two meter temperatures below freezing and if we just briefly have a look at the precipitation you can see heavy snow and we'll have a look at precipitation in a bit more detail right now so we do have a look at the precipitation um we are looking yet again at the six uh, six so it hasn't fully come out but there's no real point looking at this beyond sort of 10 days plus simply because it, it gets so inaccurate but we'll still have a look at that little channel feature um just to give us some hints of what we could be seeing if something like that does develop and that sort of scenario um in this sort of northern airflow 
happens quite often, but it's all about getting that balance. Where does that milder air from the south that's generating the temperature contrast, the weather fronts and the snow? Where, how far north does that get? Because that could be a real um, sort of killer of the event if it does shift too far northwards uh, and we see a lot of it fall as rain. So we'll have a look at that uh, in a little bit of detail now. Um, but again, it is uncertain, still is quite far in the future, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. So we do run through the precipitation, you can see a bit of rain um, in the north, nothing too major, and then potential a bit of snow over the high, higher points of Scotland through Saturday evening to Sunday, a few showers down the east, we couldn't even rule out some snow in northern England as well. Beyond that, things turn a little bit drier, as the high pressure does topple through Monday. And then as we head through to Wednesday, we start to see the initial signs of colder air moving through initially snow over scottish uh, highlands maybe to low levels at times especially overnight still probably too mild in the south for snow but we see the very cold air mass start to spread through and then we could start to see snow um, to all levels again all depends on sort of freezing le uh, freezing level how low does that drop um uh and again we'll have to just yeah see what happens um and we have to look at convective cooling basically where rain falls out the sky cools the air down as it does in heavier precipitation then we could see some snow so it all depends on that one thing i must stress though it is looking like at least for the first few days of this colder spell it does look like it will be marginal especially to low-lying areas coastal areas and probably areas in the south it does look marginal so it's not one of these scenarios where everything falling out of the sky is snow that is possible later on as we'll see through this run when the very cold air mass does eventually spread through the whole country and grip hold however initially through sort of maybe thursday to saturday it does look like it could still be rain to lower levels especially during the day however you can see snow to lower levels by sunday evening and then we see that small channel feature pushing in beyond that um potentially bringing very heavy snow across the south in the southwest corner pushing in could be giving several centimeters getting up to maybe 10 or 20 centimeters as that does move through and you can see widespread snow to even lower levels if we have a look at snow depth just to give the potential um, there's no guarantees here of course you can see again largely snow over the higher ground but you can see by sort of Saturday Sunday time even to lower lying areas areas and you can see as that small system moves through in the southwest 20 to 30 centimeters of snow over Welsh hills um, and potentially 10 to 15 centimeters even to low lying areas again no real point looking at the exact numbers but just gives you indicators that snow will be falling to lower levels if we see this scenario um, uh, see the scenario throughout the last few days of November. Now, again, this is not the scenario that will exactly come off. We'll have a look at the GM now, and you can see it will be a slightly different scenario. So you can see, again, a lot of westerly winds, and then we go into a northerly airflow for the end of this weekend into early next week, and then we actually go much colder, much faster. We pull in that northerly wind uh, much more quickly, and you can see that cold air mass spreads through. So in this scenario, we'd be seeing snow to low-lying areas by Thursday, Friday. So again, all depends on the exact orientation of these lows and whether we do see any of these milder sectors mix in. Beyond that, we say generally quite cold all the way to Saturday, Sunday, and then all the way till sort of day 10 at Monday, still looking really quite cold. And if I have a look at the United Kingdom look, we are seeing see some milder air mix in, but generally still the minus 10 line um, is still throughout a lot of northern areas um, so it's very very cold you can see though if we look at the pressure charts westerly winds look like they are likely to be breaking in however that's not what we're seeing with the gfs and as we do with ecmwf in a minute that's not what we're seeing so again one scenario um uh, that we just got to keep an eye on what happens but it does look like we're going to be seeing a good maybe four or five day colder spell um, at least um, within this. Now, if we have a look at the GM precipitation, again, same caveats to the GFS. Again, it will be inaccurate, won't exactly play out like this, but just to give us hints of what we could be seeing. Generally, a few showers over the north, but nothing too major. Maybe some snow showers across Sunday evening into Monday across Scotland, but again, nothing too um, hazardous. Beyond that, as we head through to Wednesday, you can see the initial signs of a weather front moving in from the north. Colder air starting to sink southwards. Initially, snow mainly over hills, again, maybe across Wales, Ireland, Scotland, Northern England, and then turning to snow, potentially, for early hours of Thursday, maybe, across central areas of southern England, maybe. Seeing a period of snow for more heavy snow showers push in. And again, 
potentially forming streamers and a lot of convection going on um, along the coast areas. And we see heavier snow move through potentially through Sunday, through central areas we see high pressure sort of ridge down and it does turn a little bit drier so again you can see a lot of snow showers potentially around again don't take these too literally um you can see they are hanging around the coast a lot they will be coming in more inland there will be like occluded fronts little features convergent zones and um, those are the things we'll have to sort of iron out in a sh very short time frame like two or three days out so we'll have a look at that in a lot more detail next week but the general theme hasn't changed too much looking cold uh, with a really quite cold air mass um with the potential for snow showers around quite um, often and the potential for more persistent snow as well um, at times. Now, if we have a look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare. You can see again, a lot of westerly winds. Then we see the northerly wind for Sunday, high pressure topples, and then we go into a very, very cold northerly wind. You can see initially the cold air mass stays over Scotland, and then we see a bit of a milder air mass move through temporarily. Um, so interesting seeing that. We're not, we'll see, have a look at the ensembles in a minute. We're not seeing that too much before we go back into the very cold air mass for Sunday, Monday, um, with very chilly conditions. Still, we've got that mid Atlantic ridge, so very likely to hold on to this for at least another couple of days. Um, looking very cold, um, unsettled, and potentially quite snowy as well. Now, if we do have a look at the GFS ensembles, we can only have a look at the midnight run right now as the 6Z hasn't fully come out, and you can see looking really quite cold for the last 10 days of November. Still a bit of scatter around exactly on the air masses, but you can see at the moment it's around 10 degrees at 850 HPA. We can see a 50 degree um, cold front move through, really, through Sunday into Monday, getting down to maybe minus 5 at 850 HPA, slowly rising a little bit as we see a bit of a milder air mass push in to a couple degrees below freezing before returning to around minus 5 and hanging around there. A lot of uncertainty around exactly what air mass we're going to be seeing. Um, in terms of the exact temperatures, it will be quite marginal. Um, in terms of could be minus four could be minus six and these things do make a bit of a difference in terms of whether we see snow or rain or exact snow amounts for example so we're gonna have to keep an eye on exactly what happens with the air mass but you can still see there is a bit of scatter exactly what the temperature will be at with the hpa um but at this stage it does still look quite cold um cold enough for snow really if we hang on to this air mass for long enough you can see though in the longer term temperatures do trend a bit milder um, to around average or maybe a touch above average but there's a lot of mild ensemble members and a lot of colder ensemble members and as we know beyond around day 10 it is very very uncertain we can't really say anything to it too much certainty but at this stage looking very cold uh, for the last 10 days of november precipitation around especially throughout the last maybe four or five days of november so potentially for snow as well if we have a look at the two meter temperatures uh for london you can see generally temperatures are going to be around 4, 5 degrees and getting down to freezing at night. Now again, these are the ensembles, they aren't particularly high resolution, so they're not going to model this um, particularly well. So I do suspect they will be getting a little bit colder than that, and especially uh, when we have more snow around, frost on the ground, it will be a bit colder than that. If you look at the dew points, you can also see the dew points are around freezing or below freezing, which is symbolic enough for snow. And if we lie, obviously have a look at the snow depth spikes, you can see again, potentially seeing some heavier snow around the 25th to the 30th of November. Again, those will uh, become clearer nearer the time um, as we do get into the shorter term uh, sort of time frame. If we have a look at Glasgow, you can see again, quite a few snow spikes from 25th of November all the way to 30th of November as well. That's when we are likely to potentially see snow. The two meter dew point again around freezing or below freezing but of course it's going to be a degree or two colder in scotland of course because it's further northwards uh two meter temperatures you can see again largely temperatures around two three degrees in the day and around freezing at night so really quite chilly across scotland if you are in scotland it definitely does look like there will be snow around for most um uh, across the next week or so the air mass is very much cold enough and there will be a lot of convective showers around and if we have a look at the 850 hp temperature and precipitation you can see generally temperatures around minus five rising up to around zero degrees at 850 hpa for plunging that back to around minus five hanging around there for a good five days potentially going even colder than that um, and with precipitation around so very interesting seeing what's going to be happening with this over the next week or so now if we have a look at the uk met office run have a look at the next five days you can generally see at the moment a few showers across scotland but nothing too major really heavier rain potentially pushing through tonight into um tomorrow but again 
nothing too major maybe such some heavier patches at times and then for saturday maybe some snow showers overnight across scotland especially over higher ground could see some accumulations and we could even see a yellow met office warning potentially if they do look um, like they're lining up Beyond that, though, maybe a few showers down the east coast um, through Sunday afternoon into Monday, but nothing too major. And then by Wednesday morning, you start to see the initial weather front moving in from the north, which is symbolising this transition in air masses to much colder conditions coming from the north. Um, won't transition to snow immediately, but we can just see the signs of that colder air mass pushing through. Now, if we finally have a look at the max temperatures, you can see today we saw temperatures getting up to around 12, 13 degrees. So nothing massively warm, but nothing massively cold either. By Saturday afternoon, we're going to be seeing temperatures 10, 11 in the south, but maybe only 3 or 4, 5 degrees in the north as the cold air mass does spread through. Overnight Sunday, freezing in the north, maybe 8 or 9 degrees in the south, still mild. But by Sunday afternoon, um, sorry, Sunday, yeah, Sunday afternoon, temperatures around two or three degrees in the north, only six or seven in the south. And by Monday afternoon, temperatures once again overnight, getting down to freezing quite widely, even only three or four degrees in the south, potentially even colder than that in a few spots. So as you can see by Monday afternoon, we can be seeing temperatures around seven, eight degrees. Overnight Tuesday, another overnight frost, potentially getting quite cold widely. Tuesday afternoon, again, only four or five degrees in the north, seven or eight in the south. And by Wednesday, you can start seeing a much colder air mass spreading in from the north, and once again, frost in the south. So it's going to be really quite cold, even before the main cold air mass does come through. It's going to be chillier than it's been recently, to highs around seven or eight degrees, maybe even, maybe even colder than that, um, and lows. Potentially around freezing or less than that even quite widely even in the south as well so looking very interesting over the next 10 days we haven't got the exact details pinned down yet in terms of temperatures exact air masses and snowfall but as you see in this video there are hints are there potentially seeing quite a wintry end um, to november the synoptics there and at this stage we're just gonna have to keep an eye on what happens um, but it's looking very very encouraging if you enjoy wintry weather so anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.